Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a short one, just a bite-sized science video, because I really wanted to get this one up because I just saw one of James Webb's latest pictures. And I'm looking at this thing going... Neptune has rings? And not only does Neptune have rings, but apparently we have known that it has rings for 30 years. Now, you guys might be like, uh, yeah, we already knew that, Marion, and also nobody cares but I had no idea so I am gonna make you guys sit here while I unpack this one because I was genuinely confused. So yes, on September 21st, 2022, NASA revealed a photo taken by the James Webb Space Telescope that is the clearest photo of Neptune we've had in 30 years. And in this photo, you can clearly see not only the dusty rings that surround Neptune, but you can also see them for the first time in the infrared. And this new photo does look quite a bit different than previous photos we've seen of Neptune. This is the more common picture of Neptune that we have seen. And even now, if you Google image Neptune, variations on this photo is mostly what you'll see. But apparently in 1989, the Voyager 2 spacecraft did a close flyby of Neptune and captured these photos. And in some of these Voyager 2 photos, you can definitely see the rings. But growing up, all the models that I would see of our solar system look like this. Saturn with the massive amount of rings, Uranus with a little bitty baby ring, and that's it. No more planets with rings. But by the time I was even looking at pictures like this, we already knew that Neptune had these rings. But no spacecraft had visited Neptune since 1989, so I guess it was just sort of forgotten? Maybe it's because once we ditched Pluto, Neptune became the farthest planet away from the sun in our solar system. It's 30 times farther from the sun than Earth. In fact, it's so far from the sun, it takes Neptune 165 years to complete an orbit around the sun. And being so far away from the sun, it is an ice giant. It's 17 times the mass of Earth. It's a thick soup of water, ammonia, and methane over, we think, a solid core. It's the methane that actually gives Neptune its blue glow, and its five rings are made of ice and dust. And the average temperature in that thick soup is negative 353 degrees Fahrenheit. And it is windy down there. When Voyager 2 visited Neptune in 1989, it recorded wind speeds of over 1,500 miles per hour, which happens to be faster than the speed of sound on Earth. If Neptune's winds were to occur in Earth's atmosphere, they would be supersonic. So... It's crazy down there. And when Voyager 2 flew over Neptune, it also cruised by Triton, Neptune's largest moon, one of 14 moons that Neptune has. But on Triton, Voyager 2 detected plumes of nitrogen gas coming from cracks in the frosty surface. And astronomers think that Triton might actually have a subsurface ocean, making this moon an intriguing candidate in the search for microbial alien life. So remember in my last video where I was like, nobody cares about alien bacteria, including me. So maybe some scientists do care about it. Fine. Whatever, scientists. You win, you always do. But NASA emphasized the importance of this latest pic of Neptune because according to them, quote, it has been three decades since we last saw these faint dusty rings, and this is the first time we've seen them in the infrared. And Mark McCoffrin, a senior advisor with the European Space Agency said, the kind of astronomy we're seeing now was unimaginable five years ago. Of course, we knew that it would do this. We built it to do this. It is exactly the machine we designed. But to suddenly start seeing these things in these longer wavelengths, which were impossible before, it's just absolutely remarkable. So yes, remarkable for science, but mind-blowing for me and what I always thought Neptune looked like. But it's also a little funny to me because I feel like there must be these science toy manufacturers out there somewhere that have their factory that's filled with toy models of the solar system that are now looking at these photos and going, Son of a 
Okay, that's it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know in the comments below if you knew that Neptune always had rings or if you were just very coolly and calmly surprised, like me. My hair is attached to the microphone. Get off. <laughs> and as always, I will see you in the next video.